So, hello friends. Welcome to this new episode of Outdoor Pasto. We are in the most awesome place in our country to fish. This awesome river, which holds so many awesome fish. Been fishing there all my life, my whole life basically. Know the spot very well. So today we wait to catch something really good. It's an, a midsummer day celebration. Actually, celebration of John the Baptist, man who came and preached repentance, making way for the Messiah Jesus. So it's an exciting celebration, exciting day to be fishing on this exciting river. So stay tuned on this one. It's going to be good. Only uh, problem is that I just broke my try, but so it's not not uh, try anymore. It's only with two feet, so I don't know how how I manage with this but I try to try my best to film some good fishing today the way we can so let's see but I'm sure it's going to be good anyway stay tuned so look at the surroundings this river continues kilometers and kilometers upstream and downstream and the area that I can fish basically is also uh, maybe more than 10 kilometers of river so uh, it's a large area holds many species there's pike chander trout rainbow trout uh, salmon now it's a bit early for salmon but uh, it's starting little by little there's asp there's perch uh, you name it some grayling uh, yeah so Tonight, basically, I'm uh, hoping, and uh, but I think it's quite realistic to get some pike, maybe perch, chander, hopefully. I'm not sure, maybe I'll try for trout as well a bit later. But yeah, let's get this thing started. And uh, I have a couple earlier videos from last year from this river uh, on this channel, uh, which gives you a little taste. There's some good fish there, but there's, uh, this year I'm waiting to get something much better. I've been getting some, uh, I've got earlier some double figure fish here, pike and salmon and stuff. So yeah, let's see. But uh, yeah, we have a little challenge with this tribe but now, but I try to manage somehow to film the fishing. So let's get this thing started. Okay, I think I found an angle that somehow will work for fishing. Maybe later, this, I have two days now and later on I will come here for many more days. But now I have like two days to fish here uh, this evening and then some hours tomorrow. Um, so at some point I probably will introduce to you some gear that I'm using. Um, I start by throwing this kind of soft plastic. Last year I found this one to be my new favorite so I have only one left I try to find more of them from the shop later and I have a brand new rod which I'm trying out so let's make the first cast and see if we can get a fish immediately with the first cast that would be awesome and quite possible too using a 12 gram cheek head at the moment, which is quite enough for this spot. But there are some steep spots here with a heavy stream where you need to use cheek heads up to 20 grams or more. And I don't use very heavy gear. This rod we use right now is uh, 7 feet, I think, and uh, from uh, 5 to 20 grams, and it feels real nice. And I have with, with me one bit shorter rod and one bit heavier rod, so uh, everything's covered. Nothing with the first cast. Let's 
try another one. Just a good feeling anyways, even to just fish here, just a good feeling. Been waiting this for a long time to get back here. In our country, it's very hard to find a better fishing spot. Which offers so many species and so big fish. It's not here either like you just go and throw your lure and you get fish with every cast. Sometimes you have to seek for, for the fish. But eventually you find them and then you usually even get some really good ones. So today is very cheaper. Welcome to whatever species. Oh, there was something. Not sure if that was a fish or just the bottom. There's quite a few rocks here and well good place for fish to hide. Especially on a hike or perch, they come and hit very close to the road. keep fishing. I put you on when we have a fish. Okay, new spot. Had that one hit on the first spot but couldn't. after that nothing happened. So this is my one of my favorite spots and uh, the first cast I got it in the branch of the tree but got it, all, got it off. Okay, I've got quite a few Chanders from this spot, but also pike and perch. It's quite heavy current now because water, water levels are up, so I might have to put a heavier jig head. But let's see. Make a few casts first, and then we will see if we need to change something. Maybe 14, 15 grams. We'll do. Let's do, make first some shorter casts. Um, sometimes I have got chander here from quite close to the boat, but often also have made a long cast. So it all depends, but. I don't know how many chanders I have got from this spot and some of my friends have got some chanders here too. Some by trolling, some, but mostly, mostly by throwing up soft plastic here. Just something about this. There's some uh, rocks out there and a uh, place that give shelter for chander. Probably also I have plenty, plenty, plenty of bait fish to feed here, so that's why they love this spot, probably. And we had a fish on, but I'm now it's on again. Uh, and again, I missed what's happening there two times, and third time now it. Now it's on. Oh yes, probably a pike because it just followed it. And it's not a small one. This is a good fish. I do hope for chander, but I think it will be a pike. But this is a good fish. Oh yeah. Oh no, it's a good chander. Good chander. And it's on the net. Yes. Net is all messed up, but we got a good chunder. Yes. Oh. Way to start the evening. Way to start the evening, guys. This is awesome. Just a good eating fish. And I got it all on the film this time. So happy about this. This will go around two kilos, which is four pounds. 
something like that, with more than four pounds. Um, yeah, so it's the same as your walleye. In, in, if you from the United States, this is the same fish. Like you see, looks pretty much the same. And that that was well hooked. Oh, how beautiful! I just uh, get a hook out and get a few pictures, and I will dispatch it. And uh, this will be for food. Great stuff! Great stuff! Thank you, Lord, for this. Okay, guys, tonight I will be quite happy with this fish that I got. Uh, just made a few more casts, maybe 10, I don't know, maybe 20. Uh, no more bites. It's quite often here at the river that uh, from one spot you get one good fish and then you have to move the spot. They're not in, in the big uh, piles like in some lakes and, and in the sea. So it's different here, but when you get them, you get some often very good ones. So I'm actually going to do a little trolling, just tro troll to, through this spot with a bigger wobbler with that uh, I have also got some chander here so I try that and then just, I just call it quits for today but uh, it's been a good one so far okay guys that's enough fishing for me today uh, but uh, tomorrow I, I'm planning to do some more get some more fish so video coming on that one as well from that one as well um, now I'm going to uh, just uh, prepare this fish and uh, not sure if I will film the cooking if I do this will be a catch and cook video it will be seen on the title somehow but uh, if not uh, then I say goodbye now and uh, God bless you and uh, enjoy your summer or if you are in Australia in enjoy your winter wherever you're watching and uh, God bless you. Yes, today we are here remembering uh, the life and ministry of John the Baptist, preparing the way for the Messiah. And uh, we are waiting him to come back. So, okay, God bless you. See you. Bye bye. Okay, friends, let's make this a catch and cook video. So, I have now filleted the chander. Of all I and I also took the chins of from this fish. I have never uh, cheeks, sorry, cheek meats. I've never that, done that before, so that's quite nice. So now I'm gonna just uh, season them a little bit and then put them there in the grill. So let's see. I know it's going to be that tasty. This fish is always tasty. It's gonna be tasty. I mean, it's always gonna be tasty when you make chander. So this time making a grilled fish, uh, some lemon, some pepper, some salt, and uh, let them just be there for a while, not uh, in too hot grill, and this would be nice just cooking them from one side. Okay, there we go. Let's try this. Let's try this cheek meat, which I have never had before. Hmm. It is tasty. Oh, yeah. So there you go. Chandra, walleye. Always super nice. Beautifully grilled here. And uh, yeah. So. That's it. For today's video. Chandra with salt. Pepper and some lemon grilled in the low heat for about half an hour I guess they are thick fillets so it took some time but yeah always so tasty one of the best eating fish out here okay god bless you and we'll see you on the next one when the time is right bye bye